So I got laid off last week. How's it going? Joxel here. Welcome to another video on my channel. This video is going to be very different than my typical format just because uh, honestly, I don't really know how, how to do this. Um, normally with something like this, I wouldn't really share it publicly. Partially because it feels like a failure on my part, even though it really isn't, but I'm trying to practice being comfortable with exp with talking about things that I may not necessarily like, but I want to tell you this story because I feel like there are a lot of things that I've taken away from it that might help you if, unfortunately, you come to experience a similar situation where you're caught off guard, you're laid off without notice, without any severance or PTO, and <laughs> basically treated like you don't matter. And I don't want you to be left in a position where you're unprepared or where you feel like it's the end of the world or you feel devastated because of how it happened. So I'm gonna go into the story about the company itself, how I joined it, what it led up to me eventually getting laid off and the lessons that I learned from that. So a year ago, I got recruited by a company called K-Force to work on a contract with a company called YesFit. It's a company that offers virtual races that you can participate in via a mobile app or the website. And when you complete these virtual races, you can earn rewards like medals, t-shirts, and things of that nature. The whole purpose of the company is to basically encourage people who are trying to find a way to stay consistent with exercising, to find a new fun way of doing so, to be motivated, to be enthusiastic, and to really gamify, you know, staying fit. I've been working at that company for about a year now. Uh, I started off as a six-month contract. I ended up getting hired on full-time, and there were a lot of things I loved about it. I mean, first, it was one of the best teams that I've worked on in a long time. It was just really nice to be able to be a part of a team that just blended, right? So I've been on teams before where the people that didn't work well, there was a lot of conflict, there were conflicting personalities, and for the first time, I was in a place where it seemed like there was no issues with how we all communicated. Second, my direct boss, the CTO, and essentially the main senior engineer, uh, was a great leader. Like he did his best to make sure that everybody felt heard. He attended to everybody's needs, did his best to try and make sure everybody was, you know, on the same page and cohesive and that things ran smooth. It was important to him that that we spent time not only developing and like building products for the company, but also developing our the bond between the team. We would also often have like meetings and stuff every couple of weeks that were just about the dev team just hanging out and getting to know each other and doing fun things together, whether it was playing video games or you know something similar. And then lastly, the tech stack was fun and exciting to use. I mean, I was already used to working with React on the front end and C Sharp and .NET Core in the back end. Um, so in this shop was pretty much the same setup, .NET Core in the back end, React on the front end, but they also had React Native for their mobile apps. And that was something I was always interested in learning because I wanna be able to build mobile apps. Being able to have that experience was really great and being able to really polish my skills, not only as a developer, but also just like as a, as a thinker around like building products was really fun. I, I really enjoyed that. It was a really, I'm really appreciative of that experience. Essentially, my experience at YesFit was, been, was pretty cool. The company itself is fairly small. It had roughly around 35 to 40-ish people. You had five developers and one UX UI engineer. It was really cool to be able to work with a, a designer because uh, as somebody who comes from a design background and has a really great appreciation for good design, he was awesome. He created some really elegant designs for the rewrite of the mobile app and the eventual rewrite of the website. And uh, I think he was able to really take the look and feel of the apps to a new level, right? So, uh, and it was really fun that I had the experience to work with him directly and help uh, take some of my background in design and give my input and feel like I had just another area of impact beyond just building what he already designed. We often worked hand in hand to develop a lot of the new ideas or design and a lot of the new ideas together. So I, that was something I really learned to appreciate. After the first app rewrite, they ended up hiring a product manager to materialize the vision of what would take the company to the next level in terms of expanding its market offering and expanding its user base. We ended up moving from a focus of just virtual races to trying to expand into a much larger fitness platform that included things like exercises, fitness challenges, and like eventually we wanted to move to a direction where we were offering like classes and things to compete with that of 
you know, Peloton and Apple Fitness Plus and, you know, every other online workout app or platform that you've seen. So our product manager came on and he basically shifted the direction. A lot of our priorities immediately changed from fixing like a lot of the technical debt or bugs in the mobile app or, you know, other areas of the company that could have used some some improvement. Essentially, we ended up rewriting the website to use Next.js, implemented server-side rendering, drastically improve page performance and the SEO optimization side of things. As a part of that rewrite, we were going to add the functionality to host exercises and things of that nature and really expand upon that direction that the company was, was going in. After we finished the website rebuild and reorganized the layout of the entire site, uh, we ended up seeing a significant increase in like the view rate, I guess you could say, of the exercise videos, but that didn't drive an increase in revenue that they were hoping for. In fact, uh, not too long later, there ended up being a significant drop in revenue Thank you guys for watching this part of the video. In the next part, I'm actually gonna be talking about the four months that led up to me actually getting laid off. I just wanted to provide some insight as to what it was like actually working at that company and showed that everything was peachy up until the point where it happened. You know what I mean? So uh, if you're ready to move on to the next video, I'll probably already have it up. So feel free to go ahead. If anything, I'll probably link it in like an end card or you know one of those little things that pop up. But uh, thank you again for watching and give me a thumbs up or a like if you want to help out my channel. Um, but otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.